Hello there, Vanagon Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here at Vanagon. Uh, just kind of showing you guys our latest and greatest on our Vanagon Corral restoring. We, when last we spoke, we were putting the bumpers and things back on. So you can see I got the bumper on, the front bumper. Um, I actually took these hardware bolts off and bead blasted them and painted them with the same paint we painted the bumper with. Um, also, when I told you guys about taking these off, there's actually a couple 10, in, uh, 10 millimeter bolts under there that you have to remove. And you also have to remove um, some of this the spoiler pieces. But you can kind of see the stuff's turned out pretty nice. We painted our bumper. We painted our spoilers under here. Um, we've got our door panels back on. We've got our sliding door panels and side panels back on. So we're really getting it done here and getting close to being done. Um, on this side, I've got this front door panel back on. The thing I noticed, which is really weird, is that this panel is higher than the other side. And it's on there, believe me. But it's actually a little bit higher than the other side. I'm not sure what that's all about. And then I'm going to bring you to this part here. So this is what we were dealing with last time. This seam had a rust bubble right here then we taped it all off and I showed you guys that rust inhibitor paint that we used and we just painted this uh, a few minutes ago I had it set up for about 24 hours so you can kind of see uh, you can kind of see it here in the video uh, with the camera it's giving a, like a lot of exposure right there so you can see it actually better than I can see it in real life <laughs> um, if I'm looking at it in real life it's kind of hard to see. You can see the edges of where I taped taped it off. If you look at it like in the light in a reflection. But uh, if I compounded this area a little bit once I got all done, it would blend it pretty good. And of course right here we had some rust. We painted that. And then down underneath of here we still got a little, little hole. I painted all that stuff. And we used that Kona brown paint. From rust oleum that I was showing you guys the other day um, I even painted like right in here too uh, and that paint matches this Vanagon burgundy color pretty doggone good so uh, I would highly recommend that I don't know if I just randomly found that in the store one time or if I actually looked it up on the Samba or something I can't remember so we're making good progress. We've got we're down to this last piece to put on here. And really the only reason I didn't put it on yet is because I want to fill that little hole in um, underneath with a piece of metal and some epoxy. Um, you know, modern cars today, uh, the panels are actually bonded by epoxy as much as possible. They do, of course, weld things together, but they also use epoxy. So when you go to repair a panel, I have had really good luck um, using epoxy. I've usually used JB Weld. You can also use, I'm going to try Gorilla as their own version of epoxy. So once I get done with that hole, the only rust place I know of that's left is this spot right here. And of course, like I said, my plan would be to remove this windshield, clean this up. I would probably tape tape it off like right to here okay because keep it as simple as possible clean that up if there's any holes I usually fill it with JB weld and prime it with that uh, rust inhibitor primer sand it up and paint it and it'll look pretty good I mean it's not gonna be not gonna be perfect but it's gonna be good I mean right now if I didn't tell you about like if you came here and you looked at the van and I didn't tell you about that um, repair right there, it'd be very hard to notice. Okay, if you get within one foot of it and you're, or maybe, all right, maybe this is like the three foot range, I can kind of see it. Okay, if I get within one foot, I can definitely see it. But if you're within, like, just the overall look of the car, you're not going to see it. And really, like I said, my main thing is. You get the rust stopped under control and then we sell it to the next person. I mean, they may 
have the whole entire car repainted because they want the car to be purple, orange, green. You know, all the Lucky Charms or something. All the colors of the rainbow or something. I don't know. I had one van here that had Barack Obama's face painted all over the side and the back and everywhere else. So, and even on the inside. Um, so, you know, I don't know what people are going to do. I, I just sold another van to a customer that I thought looked pretty nice. It was slightly faded blue. And he got it and plasti dipped the entire thing green. <laughs> okay, so, you know, me getting like super crazy about... It has to look perfect. Uh, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense when people are just going to take it and possibly totally repaint it. But it looks good enough, so if they didn't want to do that, then they don't have to. They can, like, use it for years. And I've painted these things with these rust inhibitors in the past myself. Um, had the cars here for years and years, like three or four years later, and it's not coming back. I mean, is it going to come back eventually? Probably, but you know what I've seen is it actually starts coming back in other places that you didn't even deal with. Okay, so you can see this. It came out real nice. Um, these were actually all panels that were not on this car. They were from another van. Uh, and they just look good. Okay, they look good. So that uh, black satin... Rust-Oleum paint, I highly recommend it if you're going to just make this black look. Like I said, I'm still debating, do I want some black rims on here? I think that would look pretty amazing with the black panels and things, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I had those black rims I think I showed you guys in the last video. So I guess that's it for the moment. We're going to tackle that last panel, fix that hole tomorrow. I'll probably check a video of that. But uh, please like, share, subscribe, guys. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video.